that at this crucial hour for Israel and the world. The only one that came to Israel is the evangelist people. Over 4,000 missiles were fired at the Galilee. We did not want to relive history. Destroy the very existence of the Jewish state. Iran strives to achieve nuclear capability. The last voice of silence, of alarm. The evangelicals feel like a mishpacha to you and, and to the leadership in Israel. And uh, I want to say personally, we're very proud of you and very proud of what Israel has done. And this afternoon as we're here, I, I just wanted to ask you a few questions so that our viewers could be able to better understand and know how to pray, but also physically support the state of Israel and to help you. I know that this war uh, came kind of uh, in an unexpected time and, and, a, and it lasted a long duration and it had to have been very expensive in, in many different ways. But for you as the finance minister, I know that it has uh, probably caused you some uh, uh, special challenges. Could you share some of those with me? Uh, first of all, allow me to say hello to my uh good friends uh, from the angel uh, evangelical uh, community. I know you very well and I uh, appreciate you. The war came in uh, suddenly. We didn't expect to be in this war. Uh, our economic was growing very fast in the last year and more and more of uh, the evangelical community came to Israel and um, we were very happy in our life, and suddenly, you know, one day, everything was changed. Uh, of course, there is a prize to the war. There is a prize in the field of the war, and there is an economic prize. And we pay a lot from our budget to repair the north of Israel. We paid it during the war because we wanted that uh, the businessmen will feel uh, comfortable. We want that everyone that couldn't go to the work and is in the shelter will have his salary, and we paid his salary to this month. We wanted that all the uh, people that are living in agriculture, you know, and have in the summer the fruit on the trees, and they couldn't take it because the tanks was in the fields. We paid them and we paid to the owners of the hotels because no one could come to this area. Uh, and it cost us uh, uh, directly more than uh, 30 billion shekels. Uh, and of course, the, the, the economic of Israel is suffering from it. But after the war, we decided that we have to continue, to continue with the growth of our budget. And you saw, as a good friend of Israel, and you are reading the newspaper here, and you know what is going on, that we passed the budget in the government. And it was very important because it's showing to the world that there is a, a, a economic leadership here in Israel. And I hope that after this budget, we will continue to go to the next year. Yes, and I agree. What, what could you say uh, to our viewers? Uh, we, uh, my organization, we take four tours a year to Israel, and uh, our tours have not uh, slacked off at all because I communicate to them really the, the truth about the safety and the security about Israel. And I'm, I'm here now, and I, I see the, uh, the, the peace that's here and, uh, and the joy that's here. Uh, there's been a quick recovery from this war. What can you say to our viewers about coming to Israel in 2007? I'll tell you some things, you know. Uh, uh, in 2001, two and three, we were here after in the time of the Intifada. No one of the tourists came to Israel. The only one that came to Israel is the evangelist people that came and say, we are with you here in Israel. So first of all, I would like to tell the, the evangelist community, uh, we appreciate it. 
We appreciate it from the bottom of our heart. And we know that you are a real friend of Israel. But if you want to help now to the economic of Israel, please come and visit the state. Don't bring with you a road map. Just take the Bible and you can go from the north to the south and you will see the country. Everything is written in the Bible. And I know that you will enjoy your stay here in Israel. And I know that everyone that is coming to Israel is bringing me more and more work to the people and is helping the economy of Israel. So what I would like to ask you, don't pray for Israel, pray for Israel from Jerusalem, from here. Come here and pray here for the safety of Israel. And I hope and I know that God will listen to your prayers. Yes, very well said. I, I've heard it said that when you pray in Jerusalem, uh, it's a local call. It's not long distance. So we need to tell our viewers when they're praying from Jerusalem, it's a local call. I'll tell you the truth. Uh, uh, I, uh, lately, I didn't spoke with God, so I don't know what's happening now. But of course, if you want to pray to God, you have to pray uh, from the bottom of your heart. Yes. And I saw the evangelist community, how they are praying. And they are praying from the bottom of yes. their heart. But to come to Jerusalem is something special. And then if you are coming here and you are praying here from the Holy Land, it's for sure it's coming from the bottom of the bottom of your heart. Yes. So please come yes. and be with us and speak with us. And we would like to welcome you because we appreciate and we love you. Yes. We have the Feast of Sukkot, uh, the Feast of Tabernacles. It's mm -hmm. coming up. And I want to enc encourage all of our viewers from around the world to uh, not cancel their tours, but they need to come because Absolutely. we have peace and we have safety here. And uh, uh, the, I've never seen the country better than right Absolutely. now. Absolutely. After the war, there is a good time here in Israel. It's safety here in Israel. And I'm sure that everyone that will come here will enjoy to be here in Israel and will take so much precious from the Israel to his home back. And he will be happy that he had made this decision to come to Israel. Can I ask you another question? Yes. In the Bible, uh, the evangelists, uh, evangelists uh, they read in their Bible many um, scriptures about uh, that are like uh, covenant commandments to help and to bless Israel. How can we bless the nation and help you with your social services and and help with the with the poor and the children? How how can we help you with that? First of all, you are praying from the bottom of your heart, so you are helping. Second come and be here with us and then you will see the needs of the state and then you can help but you have to see it before but everyone that is coming here is helping to the people of Israel that's the most important thing and everyone that are going back to his home he is a change agent yes. of Israel in his community and we need very much this change agent all, all over the world. Evangelist community is in the state, is in the south of America, is in Asia, in Europa. Yes. So if you are coming from all the places, then of course we'll have change agent wherever there is in the global and in every community. And it will change also the opinion of the people that are staying in their countries and they don't know real what is happening here. Yes, and Minister, I totally agree. Uh, two years ago, we changed our, uh, our tour package to have four days where they would work. Mm -hmm. So we went into your little city of Storot, mm -hmm. and uh, we adopted a community center that, that was uh, desperate, and we Wonderful. came in and painted and plumbing Wonderful. and electrical, and now it's up and running. And the groups that have come to put their hands to the land and Wonderful. work with the people Wonderful. have the experience that you've just said. They have totally, they are new agents, they are new people. And so I want to encourage our viewers uh, to listen to the wisdom. It's the wisdom of Abraham. Uh, <laughs>
great wisdom to come and, and to stand uh, because it's good to stand with actions and good deeds. Absolutely. And thank you very much. And we want to thank, thank you. Thank you, everyone. We are before uh, our new year uh, yes. in a couple of uh, days. So very happy well. new year for, to everyone. Thank you. Yeah, Shona Tova. Shona Tova. Thank you very much. Yes. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat shalom. Shalom and welcome to Jerusalem. Hi, my name is Kurt Landry and I'm founder and president of House of David Ministries. We have a great opportunity in this hour to bless this city and to bless the country of Israel from the far north to the deepest south. Would you join us in helping us to protect and minister to the children here in Israel? The statistics tell us that more than 720,000 children are under the poverty level right now in this city. And I believe the evangelical community is being blessed for 2,000 years by the covenants of God to answer that call at this hour. Would you join us as we take you on a wonderful tour of an opportunity to bless Israel and to bless its children. And may God bless you as you give. And remember, pray for the peace of Jerusalem and all of Israel. And may God bless you out of Zion. Shalom.